Music is sculpture created by shaping the air. Music is a reflection and an extension of who people are or sometimes long to be. It is also a reflection of the time that it is created in. Dreams is written for all the people still working the day gig. It's for everyone who had some kind of dream, but here living in a capitalist society, we've got to get up and grind every day. And it's hard. It's hard for everyone. You know, no little kid dreams about, you know, being a product manager. Be, being a, 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 you know, director at a phone company. That's no little kid's dream. Never has been, never will be. And, you know, any of the respectable day jobs that people have. And dreams reminds us that we all, that there are people out here that understand everyone who's feeling that grind every day.
Music allows people to resolve what would never be resolved in real life. It can be a frame of reference, and depending on the reference point, it can be like a dream or a nightmare. Romantic Fantasist was born out of something I read in Pete Townsend's autobiography. And it was uh, around essentially an unrequited love, which became the song that we know as Athena. He met this woman named Teresa and became mildly obsessed. They developed a friendship, but that friendship never went any further than that for him, making him a romantic fantasist with her. And I built that whole tune around that concept.
Music is something that has magic. It can make us feel like someone understands when it seems no one around us does or could. I'm Still Alive is one of those tunes that fell out of the air for me in about 10 minutes. I wrote the whole thing out, chord changes and all, 10 minutes. And we knocked it out by recording standards in almost the same kind of time frame. Recording the way we do, you know, you know remote sessions and people, uh, you know, uh, showing up for vocal sessions and things like that. But that song is really, to me, uh, about the polarity that exists today and not wanting to be part of it. It's also, uh, you know, kind of a thumb in my nose at, you know, that world where we're asked to choose the red blue, the red pill or the blue pill. You know, who wants to do that? I certainly don't. So that's where that, that was the genesis of that. And it led, led me into thinking as I was writing this all out so swiftly about this idea that people participate in their own damage. And we see that a lot, you know, and then they, then they act like victims. And I say this in the song and it's sad. There's not a lot I can do about it, but I don't have to participate in it myself. So that's that story and how it came to be. I'm not ever going to take that pill, not to feel better off of some cheap thrill. I am finally coming back to life. I'm only still here because of my wife.
Music can be a vehicle for dissent that illuminates the injustices of the world. And because of that, can be a call to action. Cliche. This tune offends a lot of people. Then there are people who absolutely love it. A lot of people really looked at this tune and there were some people who weren't even willing to sing it because they could only see the one side of it and it offended them. You know, I'm taking shots at, you know, the MAGA crowd. I'm taking shots at the Bernie bros. I'm taking shots at soccer moms. I'm, you know, making fun of myself as part of this and at the same time kind of pointing out some of the actual things that are somewhat horrifying in our society. I know it's not going to change the world. We can only ever change ourselves. Yeah. 
Music can answer why when our reason escapes us. It opens doors to understanding that otherwise would remain closed. So anxiety. Anxiety is a reflection of all the things that are driving us to it on a daily basis. Whether it's the way we pollute, you know, the environment, the, the obsession with constant contact and our phones and what they do to us, how it drives relationships and relationships apart and so many other things, including, you know, the things that are kind of thrust upon us from the outside, you know, be it politics or, you know, things happening in our communities. And any one of these things on their own may seem like a small thing. But when they're piled on on a daily basis, how could you not have anxiety? Is listening echo Siri to taking a baseline just to know you. Cops catch a tap, feds do too. So many ways to keep an eye on you. Anxiety. 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 That's why you got anxiety. You let it run your life It gets all your energy, love and strength It does some things You gotta heed your fight You pay it on attention And you do your wife Anxiety Anxiety Anxiety, anxiety. You gotta give some anxiety Room blues with alternative facts Give you so much rage that you overreact What you put out is what you attract You gotta speak careful cause you can't retract Anxiety Your world was down You got so much debt Just to stay in this town No race for you That like to kick you around But it won't matter Cause your dad to to crown Anxiety 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 So much love in 
to the world But now your countless flag It just won't unfurl Emotions and knots On your head in a swirl Life is still an oyster But you won't find your pearl Till you fix your anxiety mm, Anxiety Music unites us, it heals us, it can magically snap us to a place and time where we recall every little nuance of the moment, the people, the light and shadows, the smell and taste of the air, the feelings we had in that moment. It helps us imagine and build a better world and makes us better than we were before experiencing it. And for this reason, music is the way.